So, and this one two grand is invested into an account that gives you a 7.4% annual interest rate. What's the amount at the end after 10 years if it's compounded monthly than daily? Well, the more times you compound, the more interest you earn. So that's going to tell us that part B's answer should be bigger than part A. Now, is it going to be, oh my gosh, I can retire, yay. No, you might be able to get two cups of coffee, so it's not huge, especially for only having two grand. Um, that's not a lot of, to work with, unfortunately. So, but your answer in B should be bigger than A. So let's set up A, part A, I should say. We'll say A is equal to 2,000, that's our P, times the quantity 1 plus, what's our R for this problem? And if we're doing monthly, what's our N? Good. Raised to the 12 times, what's our T? 10. It's up here. Yes, so in your calculator, please use 120. As far as what it's going to look like in your calculator, I'll write it out. Depending on your calculator, you might have this symbol, which is called a caret. You might see a y to the x or an x to the y. Uh, they all mean the same thing. Also, depending on your cal calculator, if it's a newer one, when you type it in, it might look exactly like this. The calculator might make the exponent actually look like an exponent. Crazy talk. Since we're talking money here, let's go to two decimal places. I got uh, 4182.36. How much interest was earned? Yeah, 2,182 and 36. So I said the I word interest, which may have made you think of P equal P times R times T. That's true, but it won't help us here. We just straight up subtract. This is what we started with. This is what we ended with. Their difference is the interest earned. Good. Let's do... Part B, I'm going to do it down here. This might be too bright of a green. Oh, uh, is that okay? Or do you want it darker? Darker it is. Now you're, oh, geez. How do I, do I, no, do I, no, no. All right, we're going to pick a different color. Let's go black. That'd be easier. Yeah. So what's the setup for part B? Yeah, what's the only difference? Instead of? Very good. Good. So that exponent's going to be 3,650. If you would, put that in your calculator. Maybe. I have to look at my notes. 4,191.56? Yes. All right, I was almost right. You can buy one and a half cups of coffee at Starbucks. You made $9 more. Congratulations. Yes. Maybe it's that salted caramel I've heard so much about. No? Okay. It sounds good. Has anyone had it? Has anyone heard of Starbucks? All right, we'll start there. 